Alright y'all, we made it. We're at Nestle. As you can see. We already dropped the trailer. We're hooked up to another MG. Gonna have to get it cleaned out. Slash get fueled for it. I gotta figure all that out before I try to lay back down. Other than that, he still has to do his macros and then go from there. So right now, we're at the Blue Beacon. We're getting the trailer washed out. The only reason why we're getting the trailer washed out is because I don't know if it needs to be washed out because I'm picking up pet food. So, I'm not sure if they have a washout or if it needs to be washed out before. It's just safer to do it now. And plus, had him take his 30 minute break, which is already up. And then I told him, I'm like, if you want to take a shower, go take a shower now. Because we were like the fourth person. We were like the fifth person in line. And then last minute, I was like, oh, well, duh. Go take a shower if you want to take a shower. Because I don't want him to bring it up later. So, um... He ran over there real quick to get that done because I have to go over there and get fuel anyways. And um, I, like I said, I got a load going to Colorado that I'm on right now. Then from Colorado, they gave me a load that picks up on Thursday morning, goes to Wilmington, California at the K Pack. And then. Um, How's it going? Just try to wash out. Yeah. And um, it delivers on the 23rd, but we're going to T call it. And I already got another student lined up, but the only difference is the student that they gave me, he's in Lathrop. He lives out there in Lathrop. So I would have to get a load going up that way to go pick him up. And he's a 200 hour student, so it's gonna be a whole month or so. And yeah. So they're pulling us in right now. We made it to Red Collar Pet Food. This is my first time being here. We're just backed up on side of a building with another trailer or two. Our trailer's already preloaded. I think it's gonna be over there somewhere.
So it's 3.13 and we're still parked over here, as you can see. That Tucker trailer is in door 11. We are waiting for that trailer to get moving out. For they could put us in that door. And then they could rework the load. Now I'm topped off on fuel. The trailer's topped off on fuel. <clears throat> I never picked up dog food. And when I pick up stuff for pets, it's actually a refrigerated load. Well this isn't a refrigerated load, it's a dry load. It's our it's just dog food. So normally <laughs> I would do some stuff to move the weight back, but I'm not going to. So we're just waiting on them to get us in the door. Alright everybody, we're in the door. We've been here for a minute now. Yeah. They're still going in there. See. I don't know what it is, but I think it's like a two hour minimum to load one of these trailers of their dog. But right now, I think all they're printing is cat food. You want to open the door or close it, it's done by cat food. But I told my student he was going to take over afterwards. I might just go ahead and drive back to the load, get the scale ticket, and have a big old work in there. I know once we're done, it's gonna be legal. I told myself as soon as I slid, as soon as I pulled up, closed the doors, got back in and tried to slide the candles, I knew I was gonna be overweight because once I slid my candles all the way forward, I was still heavy on my drive. And I have that little gauge that tells me how much PSI is on my drive. So if it's above 60 or so, I'm going to be overweight on my drive. So, as you seen on the scale, it's about 280 pounds. So, I'm sitting here still. Well, there's only been a couple minutes. But, um, I'm sitting on hold. As you can see. I don't know if you hear that, but I'm sitting on hold. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, can you help me? You sure? I need another load. Get 
touch with you, the planner from Illinois. I don't know if he's in Illinois or if he's just in West Valley, but he ended up calling me. So he took that load off of me. Yeah. He's gonna take it off so that way it could be serviced on time. Look, I was gonna make delivery on time, but it was, a, but it's a live load. And that cold storage, they're paying the fucking ass when you show up. I've been there plenty of times, and maybe you should, I sit there every freaking day. Every time I go there, I sit. And I told him I was like, look. You're going to take that load off of me, which is fine, because I doubt that you or him is going to be able to find someone just to go pick it up and T-call it in the yard. So, so I was like, I put in my ETA to Denver, which is going to be tomorrow. I need a load to where I'm going to be in California on Friday, so my students can upgrade on Friday. I doubt that's going to work out for me. Yeah. Now, is that the... Yeah, I got it yesterday. Why? What's his name? Get loaded compared to waiting. 